Have a look at this. No, not working. And you have to pull, pull, yeah. pull it a bit. Ooh. Alrighty, we are on our way to a cafe where they have like calm persimmons and cure uh, tangerines. It's, and they also have some animals, so we'll have a look. Alright, we're here. Apparently we're gonna be feeding some animals. We are at Odin Wangja Kamgyur Bat, which is like the little prince, um, like a tangerine uh, farm. Oh, it's very smoky. They gave us a marshmallow to cook. Let's start cooking it. Oh, it's so hot. Man, these flames are really hot. Oh my gosh. They all want food. Better, better start feeding them. They're all coming. Give the old one on the left and yeah. the and the one on the right too. Yeah, left and right. I'll stop now. A little bit more. No, okay, wait. Oh, he's grabbing the. He's a bully. Whoa, the neck was so long. Oh, oh they're fighting. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, he's a real greedy one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's a... This guy came all the way up here. Throw him on the rock, you can't see he's there. Yeah, he's, he jumped on the rock. Poor other ones are stuck there, but... Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's enough. Whoa. Whoa. They're huge. Oh, I didn't know there were alpacas here. I don't have any more food for alpacas. Huh? <coughs> oh! <laughs> don't want him to spit on me. <laughs> They're cute. Little haven. Nice because it's all wooden. That's where I was just inside. Poor alpacas, I didn't feed them anything. Kind of scared to touch them, they might spit. Look how low and high their necks go. There are geese here too, not Canada geese, but just normal white geese. They're super noisy. I gave the geese and... Oh, so strong! Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, you want? You want to? Oh, okay, I'll give you some. 
No more. They even have calves here too. Look at these cows. Sorry, that's it. I guess I could grab more, but. This is a famous shape for volcanic rocks here. I don't know why they shape it like this. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason. They make them in all shapes and sizes, and this is huge. This is a huge one. We're checking out another famous hotel, Shilna Hotel. They have an infinity pool in the back and it's really big apparently, so came to check it out. And also there's a path to walk that's really nice, my friend said, so looking for that as well. This hotel area is pretty old, but pretty big. Huge outdoor area in the back. Oh damn, you can see the horizon. Looks way better in person than it does on camera. I think, I think I can actually see the curvature of the earth. It's slightly, slightly curved. Oh, what a view. I don't ever see such a wide view of the horizon. Going down to the beach. Although, not gonna go on the sand because I don't like sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. This is another hotel next to Shilla called Botte. This one's pretty big too. The beach is on that side where we just came from. Just gonna check what it looks like in the lobby and stuff. This is the Lotte Hotel lobby. Not super nice compared to the Shilla that we were just next to. Yo, look at this giant Pikachu in front of the Lotte Hotel. It is absolutely massive. It's like two, three stories tall. My friend recommended a place called The Cliff, right there. And it's The Cliff, because there's a cliff and the ocean right there. So we're gonna check it out. This is The Cliff. The view that we saw was from Shinla over there, above. Now we're on the left side. That is a nice view. Alright, trying this place called Pomal Kalgoksu. I'm gonna have the first one right there. It's a uh, Pomal. These, these are Pomal. And Kalgoksu is noodles, so. Alright, here's the Kalgoksu. Let's dig in. Bulmandu, dumplings came too. Oh, that was good. The soup was really good. I really enjoyed that. This is a bakery right across the street. So much stuff. That was the restaurant we just ate at and this is where I got a lemon tart bakery. This is the lemon tart I just got. It's okay. Just uh, okay. Not worth really getting again. Alright, back to the car. I think we're gonna head back to the hotel now. This is a nice canopy of trees. We're walking in the hotel parking lot and these lights get brighter as you walk past them. See? I came to the hotel food court area to have some dinner. This is my dad's set meal. Alpa. Looks pretty good. Look at this. Jeji bulgogi bibimbap. Pork and uh, rice with egg. 
and my dad gave me his udon. That was actually pretty good. That was like cheuk toppa, pork and pork and rice. I had a napkin on just in case because of my white T-shirt. We got included tickets for this theme park. Yeah, theme park. So gonna walk around. Probably not ride anything, but just full from dinner. So good time to walk around. We're inside. Nice weather, nice cool weather. It was so hot in the afternoon. There's a stage here, I guess. I don't know what events they host here. And there's a water park over there. Doesn't look like that many slides. I think there are more huge mascot light things than rides themselves. Not many rides here. Where are all the rides? There really aren't that many rides here. Just a merry-go-round. Can't see in the dark very well, but there's one tiny roller coaster there. This might be the only ride that's kind of big that's still going on right now. Oh, they're just going back and forth. It's spinning. Oh, there we go. Eh. Kind of lame. Got a Hagen does ice cream sandwich. It's been a long time since I had one of these because they don't sell these in Toronto. Looks good. Hmm, that's good. Oh, got junk foods. I usually don't have junk food in Toronto, so this is good to <laughs> my guilty pleasures. This is future Paul speaking back at home in Toronto, Canada. I forgot to film an ending to that day's video. It's been fun editing these travel vlogs after I've come back and just looking back on those days because uh, I didn't even look at the footage that I took. So it, it's fun watching them myself as I'm making these. These videos, these vlogs, these travel vlogs f are for me more than they are for anyone else because I just have a fun time looking back at my past trips, like when I filmed my daily Germany vlogs back in April. But having said that, I am excited about making content just at my desk, in front of my desktop. Again, once I finish uploading all my travel vlogs, just to give you a bit of an update, um, one of my four goals is to meet more people. So. Yesterday, no, two days ago, I went to a running club for the first time. Some nice people there. And at the same time, my calves are just so sore because I'm not used to running, a, you know, for like an hour or almost an hour. So I am having trouble going down the stairs. I was hoping to try out another running club on Saturday, which is tomorrow, but um, I don't think... I'll be recovered in time for that, so I'll have to save that for another time. But I will be still working towards my catchphrase of 1% better every day. So can't wait to share more with you once my travel vlogs are all posted. I'll see you on Monday. 1% better every day, baby.